He's fast becoming one of the most dangerous young players on tour. He says success, not prize money, is his motivation. But it's just one part of the personality that is Ernest Gulbis, a player who set himself the very highest target. My, my goal is to be number one in the world. That's uh, any goal for, for any person who came in this room. If I say I'm not looking forward to it, then uh, what am I doing here? Son of a successful Latvian businessman and an actress mother, Gulbis has a unique background. Tennis might not have started as his career of choice, but for this independent soul, somehow it was the perfect fit. I never uh, thought that I'm going to be a tennis player. So I had a bunch of different interests, so I just stick to one thing. Because uh, I was really active when I was a young kid. I was playing basketball, football, but uh, tennis was more individual. I may be more individual guy by my lifestyle, I'm not so much a team player. That's why we choose tennis. Gulbis is coached by Ernan Gumi, Marat Safin's former mentor, who's not afraid to make direct comparisons. I was just coming out of coaching Marat, and, uh, and when I met Ernest, uh, I found so many similarities in, 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 in lifestyle, in, in thinking-wise, and personality-wise, they're both crazy to the point of, uh, like, like you, you kind of put a, a stop to that. The modern game never stops evolving, and with it has come fitter athletes and stronger, more technical players. The competition to get to the very top is getting tougher. I mean, now tennis players are practicing like, like animals. They're spending uh, so much time in gym and in practice, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I think that, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that before maybe 20, 30 years, people were not practicing so much. Gulbis admits he finds the daily tournament grind tough. How he deals with that particular challenge, not his growing fame, may be key. I don't enjoy travel at all. I enjoy traveling, airports, security control, back check, picking up there, going to airports, zero enjoyment. I just, uh, what I enjoy is uh, just to be on court and to win matches. Doesn't matter where it is. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, as tennis mania grips Melbourne, we've got all the news and views from the Australian Open. And we meet one of the game's true gentlemen. Tim Henman tells us just what it's like to carry the hopes of a nation. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.